Hi, I'm Dr. Mimi Guarneri, and welcome to Pacific Pearl La Jolla. In my practice, Guarneri Integrative Health, we are constantly looking for cutting edge technology so that we can transform the health of our patients beyond medication, pills, surgery. To that end, I'm thrilled today to have Gregory Gillespie here, who is going to talk with us about a truly unique system called microcurrent neurofeedback. Do I have that right? Yes, it's the Neurogen HPN system, which is a high performance neurofeedback. So it's not just the kind of thing anybody can get anywhere. It's oh no, we, uh, we exclusively have this system. So you have to go through us or with to us to get the system. Great, now a lot of people would love to know that you are a 28 year Marine active duty, serving our country. How did you go from being uh, a Marine, now retired, into this field? So during my career, um, I did seven combat deployments. And on two of those deployments, I got blown up. Mm -hmm. And so I had a severe concussive event and I suffered traumatic brain injury. And when I retired and I went into the VA medical system, I was diagnosed with having a moderate traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress. And um, as a result of that, I had to see a psychiatrist and a psychologist, and they had me on a, on a wheelbarrow full of different drugs. Mm -hmm. And um, that wasn't gonna make my brain injury go away. And so I was fortunate enough to meet the people that were developing the neurofeedback system. And I was patient zero. I was the very first person wow. the system was used on. And um, I had miraculous um, effects from the system. And so I had to get involved in this. Well, they say leadership is when you see something that can benefit everyone, you take a step and you go in that direction to bring it. And it sounds to me uh, like that's what you've done. Uh, I don't know if you know this, Greg, but in 2012, we published um, a nice paper in military medicine showing that healing touch and guided imagery uh, helped with PTSD. And what is so interesting to me and what got us to that study initially was that the medications weren't working and that the medications, they're good when you need them and when they do work, but what we're seeing is they don't work a lot of the time. So I'm wondering if you can tell us how this works. How, how does this, like if I'm a patient and I come in and uh, what might be some of the indications? Would it be depression, anxiety, PTSD, brain injury? Why would I wanna come in for this? Well, you would want to come in because this is so simple and so easy to use. Um, as the patient, you literally come in and sit down. Um, we will have interviewed you to find out what your symptoms are and what were the causes maybe of the symptoms. Mm -hmm. And then once you sit in the chair, we hook our system with these five little wires. Mm -hmm. We hook those up to your scalp. Mm -hmm. um, and at that point in time, you could read a book or you could be talking to somebody. You could actually be on your cell phone. You could even take a nap while we do the treatment. So it's very simple. And this is a passive system. You don't have to actively participate with your eyes or your ears or answer any questions. Our system is going to do an EEG on your brain. It's going to find any imbalances between the two different hemispheres in the brain. And then the computer will pinpoint your neural pathways that aren't working the way they're supposed to and it will go in and stimulate and massage those neural pathways and we cause neuroplasticity. So the stem cells can actually rearrange and reorient themselves to reconnect damaged neural pathways. And we're bringing your brain back up to its highest function. And I've seen you do this work with children. We have had many children in our practice, teenagers come in and have treatments. Yes, so the youngest person that I've ever treated was a five day old baby. So we can go as young as an infant all the way up to 92, I think, is the oldest person I've treated. But it's uh, very effective on teenagers. Um, in today's society, there's so much hazing and shaming, and there's a lot mm -hmm. of social um, mm -hmm. shyness. Mm -hmm. 
so we can work on their personal esteem, we can work on their social fear, we can work on ADD and ADHD. Um, so it's, it, the, we can cover the whole spectrum, but we do find that the younger the person is, the quicker they respond to it. So teenagers are the prime age group. And if someone does come for a treatment, they don't feel anything, right? There's no pain. No, absolutely not. In fact, um, when we say microcurrent neurofeedback, we're using 2.5 picowatts. So that's 2.5 trillionths of a watt of energy. So by way of comparison, that's about a million times less powerful than a cell phone. Mm -hmm. So when we have the leads attached to your head, obviously you'll feel us attaching the leads to the scalp, mm -hmm. but you will never feel the energy going into your brain. And how many sessions, like let's say I come in and I have some PTSD from an experience I've had or uh, I have some anxiety or social phobia or even depression, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, how, what is typical, uh, would it be two treatments, four treatments? What would you say? I, I know you can't say exact, but what's the average? Right, so as you know, everybody is an individual right. and their brains are different on uh, people that have PTSD and severe depression and high anxiety, they typically will see a difference after the first treatment. Mm. Now that doesn't mean that we've made the problem go completely away, but they will see a noticeable difference. And then over a series of treatments, we can get them to the point where um, they would maybe need to do a treatment every six months or every year just as a tune up to reinforce the new behavior that they're experiencing. And I'm uh, thinking of some young ones in our practice who have learning problems. We have one young man with uh, dyslexia, which causes a lot of anxiety, right? The schools are hard environments, as you've said, to be in. Lots of challenges. All these kids would be prime uh, candidates for treatment. Yes, exactly. We've had very good success with dyslexia. Um, mm -hmm. Children that have ADD and ADHD are very quick responders. And coincidentally, it's the parents that see the difference first. Um, the child experiences the difference, but the parents recognize the difference almost immediately. They notice it, right? Oh yes, right away. And how, um, so to schedule a session here at Pacific Pearl La Jolla, they just have to call our center, right? Yes. To get scheduled. And then what does it cost? Um, it's $200 for a treatment, mm -hmm. uh, and that's a first treatment, and can, we don't charge more for a first treatment. It's, it's a, the same, it's for, the every same for every treatment. And I would imagine people could submit those bills to their health care provider, their health savings account, their flex spending account, save it for their taxes. Yes, I mean, absolutely. Because so, all of it is a medical need with medical indications and so on. Yes, absolutely. They can... Uh, health spending accounts and flex spending accounts do absolutely recognize this. That's great. Anything else you would add that uh, can help people? And I'm, I, I'm ready to have a treatment myself. <laughs> Anything <laughs> else you could add? So I, I kind of <laughs> anecdotally say there's only two groups of people that this is going to help. And that's people that will sit in the chair and people that have a brain in their skull. If you <laughs> okay. fall into those two categories, you will benefit from neurofeedback. Oh, that sounds terrific. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is great. We're really thrilled to have this uh, opportunity to have neurofeedback at Pacific Pearl. It's such a perfect addition to the work that we do. Well, one of the exciting things about this is you don't need a doctor's referral, do you? No, we don't, Dr. Guineri. Um, you can call directly into the Pacific Pearl and schedule your own appointment without the doctor's referral. So you can schedule for yourself, a relative, a child, might be nice to let your physician know you're doing this, but it's not necessary to have that referral. That's correct. Which is great because there's no side effects. This is one of those few things that's all upside, no downside, right? Yes. So what we do find as far as side effects is when we treat people for whatever their particular problem is, whether it's anxiety or depression or brain injury, some of the side effects we find is that people stop smoking and drinking. So I guess that's your side effect. We love that side effect because as we know, anxiety, depression, all of that leads to addictive behaviors. So uh, if we can cut out addictive behaviors using neurofeedback by calming the mind, then to me, this is a magic bullet. I think it is.
Yeah, so um, I always like to think, you know, I'm a clinician and I see lots of patients, and I always like to think every time I see someone, what is the, what, what would be the best indication for something? So for example, if someone has a um, inflammation of a joint, I'm always thinking acupuncture and cold laser, as well as all the Western medicine stuff. So when I think of neurofeedback, now the list is really long because we're talking about chronic pain, addiction, uh, phobias, PTSD, anxiety, depression, uh, probably helps people to sleep, uh, right? I mean, so, the, so it's like everything. Everything you just mentioned is just the tip of the iceberg for yeah. the things that we uh, have had great success in treating. Terrific. Well, thank you. You're welcome.